my friends and welcome back. I'm sorry it's been a while but there is just so much going on so I hope to get everybody um, updated what's happening. We're going to go over a couple of things. So number one, and I'm going to try to be as brief as I can but to the point so we can cover as much ground as I can here and also keep the video from getting too long. So number one, is my engine and my check light um, issue that I have on my van that I mentioned after my Nevada stay where I was um, infested with pack rats, right? Getting into my engine, destroying everything. What has happened is Ken tried to help uh, fix one of the wires because remember I took it and I had a um, OBD you know checker um, check my you know what was going on because of the engine check light and we found out that the number four injector um, says there's something wrong with that circuit and also the number four cylinder so Kent repaired the wire, it is chewed, we traced it down, not chewed through, but it definitely has some chewing on that wire. He did the best he could to try to repair it. So we took it for a test drive, and I got to admit, I have more power than I had before, so it is doing better. I wouldn't say like 100%, but it is doing better. We also took it back to the automotive place and we tried to clear out the check engine, you know, code that's coming up. So he tried to clear it out, but it keeps coming back, even though I have more power. So we're thinking everything might be okay now, maybe with the cylinder, but there's def definitely maybe that chewed area on the wire could be the indicator why that light still comes on. So I, I'm definitely going to have to have my van looked at. I just feel better doing that. Plus it needs an oil change and a couple other things going on. So I'm going to set that up for that to be done in town before I um, s start with the next leg of my, my journey. Okay. So the next thing that I have to deal with, I'm getting really tired. For anybody who's new to my channel, I travel with disabilities. Um, you can... Uh, definitely go and check out my Don't Give Up series that I have um, and it talks everything I've gone through in my life and more about my disabilities there. I really don't want to keep repeating what I'm struggling with in you know, a lot of my, my videos from here on. I feel like I've already addressed <laughs> it, but if you're new, I do travel with disabilities and so they do create a lot of challenges for me. So again, go back, check out my Don't Give Up series and I talk about my whole journey, why I ended up in the van, uh, what happened to lead me to my travels today. So, um, I'm getting more tired though, I really am. My body is struggling more. Uh, so I really have to simplify my traveling. I'm moving too much stuff around from the front to the back. It just, just still things are just not working. One of my problems is I love clothes and I think I'm just trying to carry too many clothes um, because I can't always get to a laundry mat on the road like everybody else. So I am going to reduce. I've got to reduce that. Um, and also I have like extra bedding for my bed, but there's just some things that I'm just going to go through, let go. I have a lot of vests. So either I'm going to throw away what's old, take things that are still usable to a thrift store that I found out that they have in this town that I'm closest to. I'm going to show you how I'm going to be doing this. You know, how do you sort through things on the road? And also when I'm dealing with a lot of wind, so it's not like I can just take things outside and sort through things. Um, I have to have a place to put things. So let me show you how I'm doing this. Okay, so what I ended up getting is a uh, backpacker's single person tent. 
and I love this thing. So I put a lot of my stuff in there right now that I need to sort through. What I love about this tent is that if it is super, super windy and I feel like it's going to, um, you know, be too hard on it, I can drop it. So all I do is unfasten it here and the top one, it's that simple. I just pull this out, you know, from, from here and uh, I just pull it up, drop it down, and put some heavy stuff on there, bottles of water, and that protects it from the wind, and I can just pop it back up again. So it has been working, but most of the wind has been coming from the other side of the van, so the van has been acting as a windshield, so it's been pretty good. I did have some wind that actually came right at it from the north, but it did well, it really did. But I did collapse it on part of it and then popped it back up again and it still has done really really well but I'm using my military stakes that I talked about so I'm using those and that's holding it down and plus the guy lines yeah so it's doing well I'm gonna go over what I'm doing but I'm gonna get rid of um, like I said lots of things I've got this dolly cart that I thought it was gonna need uh, I'm not I'm not using it so that's gonna go here's Milo my van's a mess right now cuz I'm just busy busy right now doing so many things so many projects yeah so I apologize but he says hi YouTube I just got done eating he says I'm happy but it's hot it's very hot right now yes it is Right now we're in 90 degree, uh, I think it's, well, 85 outside, so 91 in here. But I just got this 12 volt fan. Um, it's okay, it only has one speed, so I'm not too happy about that. I'm gonna look for a two speed one, but right now I need high maximum speed anyways. And it, it does oscillate, and so, or I could just hit this button here and it'll, lock it up like that um, so I wanted to get a 12 volt but I'm just not happy that it's only one speed but that's okay I'll look for another one it works for now I'm trying not to always have to have my inverter on to run a fan because I have this one here and I really love this one and I have a rod up at the back where I have some of my hanging clothes and this one works really well I can rotate it um, put it towards the bed or the front but the only downfall is is it is AC so I have to have my inverter on in order to run that one so I am going to be looking for a 12 volt and then I do have a 12 volt socket in here so I can run the cord up there's a hole in my cabinet on the bottom so I can run my TVs and stuff like that so I'm going to get a 12 volt and go directly into the 12 volt socket or get a splitter and then that way I can run um, a, D, a DC back here instead of having to have an AC and I'll show you the splitter I have up front all right so here is my two DC um, thing that I have so I plug it into the wall I can plug my Dometic and my fan to it so I really love this thing I'm gonna get another one uh, for the back definitely yeah so if you hear a lot of uh, fan noise that's what's going on is I have to keep it cool all right so here's Milo um, again so I take them in and out depending on how windy it is outside uh, once in a while we get these strong gusts. Um, I do have a cool wrap. I'm going to get that going on him now that it's warming up today. We are going to cool down tomorrow. Um, but today I'm going to get this cool wrap that I have for him. And I'll do another video showing that cool wrap for anybody who might be new to my channel. But you can definitely look back at some of my um, older videos. When I was first on the road, I talk a lot about it. And again, my van is a mess right now, so I apologize. I'm not trying to show too much of it because I have so much going on with getting my van um, thinned out with stuff that I don't need and working on that. So that tent is really allowing me to do that. So I'm able to put all my extra stuff out there 
um, well, I thought it's not supposed to be extra stuff. I thought it's stuff I needed, but um, finding out that I don't need a lot of the stuff that I have. I also had to get a couple extra tubs of food because of the COVID-19, and I do have that that I have to, you know, fill up and use off and on. I am going to keep those tubs. I'll go over that later on and how I'm going to store those. Um, but I can use them back and forth if needed. But it's mainly some clothes that I have. So let me show you something. Okay, in my past videos, I've talked about these pillow cases that I have. And they store a lot of my extra, some of my clothes. I, I keep calling them extra clothes, but uh, the clothes that I need. But, but I do have way too much clothes. That's what's going on. I have a lot of summer stuff, winter stuff, and stuff that I'm rotating in and out. And once again, because I don't like to go to the laundromat, I find that I'm carrying way too much stuff. Way too many shorts than I, I need. Uh, jeans, you know, I really only use mostly my blue jeans, but I have many different other color, color type denim type pants that I just, I never wear. So those are things that I'm going to thin down, get rid of, keep a few shorts. I might like keep a little bit more of my tops and things that I can roll down uh, and use and rotate, you know, th those are fine because they store up really um, small but big bulky things. I have way too many vests. And I have these two big, I think these might be 18. I think they're 18 by 18. And then the other one I have are more like a 22, I think, by 22. They're big, huge red uh, pillowcases that I have a lot of, a lot of extra stuff, uh, my bedding and things like that. That is what I need to get rid of. I just, I'm moving those around from the front to the back. And also another cover thing that I have extra, the vests and things. So I'm jackets. So I'm really going to thin down that kind of stuff because I don't need tons of stuff. I've got jackets here. I've got this jacket. I've got another lightweight jacket. Um, I just have way too much, way too much. I love clothes, that's gonna be the hardest for me, but it's something I really gotta work on. And at the same time, I'm also ordering new stuff. The new stuff that I'm ordering is things that I absolutely need. And I will be doing a video later on with some of the things that I feel that I, is a necessity that I feel makes my life on the road a lot easier. Like one of the things that I love, and I misplaced one that I had, so I had to buy another one. I hope I didn't leave it in Nevada at my last camping spot, but I don't know yet. I'm still looking around and I don't know. I usually keep it on the side of my bed because I'll be listening to um, my iPad at night and if I, you know, need a little extra boost for my iPad, then I'll plug it into this when I'm, you know, listening. Here's my iPad. Okay. So I have my cord. You can plug it into that if I'm running low of power. So, it's, I, this thing is amazing. I just, I can't live without one of these little, you know, charging packs. Um, this one here happens to be one that you can, you know, put out in the sun and have solar. That's the one that I lost. I bought another one. Maybe I'll find the one I lost and that's okay. I'll just have two. This one takes a little longer to charge. Um, and so I bought another one uh, that takes less time to charge. So I'll have two of them going. I think that's a good idea. But the other one that I bought is, is not solar. I don't have it yet. It's, it's, it's coming any day now. Um, so I'll pick that up the next time I go to town. So there's things like this that I'm ordering. Um, I'm going to go over another video, some things that I feel that's making my life way easier. Uh, being on the road and it won't take a lot of space not like all these bags and clothes and things like that But the one thing that is going to take a little bit of space and I'll figure out how or where I'm going to put it But I feel it is a necessity is a wave 3 
catalytic um, heater. I've talked about that before when I was up in Utah uh, in the fall with Kent. I was borrowing his. He was so kind to let me borrow his heater. And it works pretty well, um, but I'll have a whole separate video on that one. But because we have to go our different way, because I have to go home to take care of some business, and yeah and I might have a place to stay I'll talk about that in a minute but I may be going into areas that are going to be cooler before I you know get back to Oregon so I really feel that I needed uh, an, a catalytic wave 3 because I have a Mr. Buddy but my Mr. Buddy uses too much propane. You gotta turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off because it really, in this, I'm sorry, in this space, it really heats it up uh, very quickly. The, the Wave 3 catalytic converter allows me to, um, you know, just have it on, have it on on low. It's lower BTUs than the Mr. Buddy. Uh, I'm not not the little small one, but the next size up and not the real big one um, So I'll go over all of that later in another video, but it just allows me to use less propane Okay, and they're safer to use uh, But so I I've, I've got that and I'm gonna open it up. It's in a box outside I have got to find a place to put that <laughs> you know because that's a necessity not all the extra clothes that I have anyways I'll go over all that a little bit more gadgets and things I do want to do a little more videos of the, that kind of stuff um, so I got to finish that order my last round of order ordering stuff and then I'm also getting AGM batteries why I'm doing the change over from my regular deep deep cell batteries to these AGM I'm just really bad about main, keeping up the maintenance on my deep cycle batteries I'm just horrible about checking the water and adding the water and I ruin them too quickly so these are sealed you don't have to put water in them so it'll make it easier for me um, but I'll go into all of that later but I need Kent because Kent is going to help me to install them and also teach me more about what to do my problem will always be I can never lift up batteries though these are going to be 60 pounds a piece and I can never lift that up anyways even if I did you know I do know how to hook everything up I would always need help for that but at least I want to know you know again how to do it how to how to do the hookup and stuff like that so he's going to do that before we are going to go um, our different ways uh, so I can go take care of you know like everything I have to go take care of always back in Oregon you know um, that's my life with medical issues and disabilities and stuff like that but I also my van's tags are due and Oregon is still my home state and my my van tags are due you know smogged and that's due by October 1st okay so I need to get back there before then and by September um, yeah and just take care of a lot of other stuff all that's going on that's coming in uh, actually came in today I'll go in Monday pick up those batteries and then I'll go over all of that with you for those that might want to see what I've done why the change but I'll break up into a bunch of individual videos and try to get them out when I can okay but I've got a lot going on right now so that's the latest and then I'll be heading north heading you know west <laughs> you know working wiggle my way back home and seeing some things along the way I hope to still see a friend in Idaho so I'm glad that the country has opened up a little bit more but still keeping social distancing in mind but at least you know it, it's much easier to travel right now which is a good thing I do have a place that I might be able to stay at um, when I'm at home uh, hopefully we need to change the scenery a little bit I can see if I can go outside but yeah, I hope to see stay with a friend if it works out. If it doesn't work out, then um, I'll have to make other arrangements. But we'll see. I'm taking all of that day by day, you know, when I 
get back there. I don't know how long I'm going to be back in Oregon. Um, I also still want to find a place, a home base. I don't know what I'm going to do, how I'm going to work that out. I really don't know. I'm kind of just taking everything uh, day by day. So that's kind of what I got to do and just enjoy the journey. I kind of was stressed out about having to go travel by myself again. It really was. I was, even though I've done it, it's just because these are such problem times right now with the, the pandemic and then with everything else going on. Um, it's just really hard times right now. So my comfort level is not where it used to be. I have a little bit more anxiety about traveling now alone. <laughs> But I'm doing a lot of meditation. I'm doing a lot of things to build up, you know, more of my confidence of all the things that Kent has also taught me. So I'm hoping, you know, all of that will give me the strength I need. I don't know why I just feel so uh, uneasy right now about, about traveling um, by myself when I've been doing it for four years off and on. But with, with everything going on, it's just, it's, there's so much uncertainty about what's going on in the world right now. So with that in mind, um, I'm okay. I'll get through it one day at a time. And I'll just keep focusing on the beauty and the journey along the way. I still have my photography, which helps keep me grounded. And I love that. So anyways, I just wanted to share what's going on right now. I'll keep you posted. I really thank everybody for being a part of my journey and I hope to release more videos of just the photography part so I'm going to hope to get some of those videos out for everybody. Anyways, thank you for coming along. I love everybody and I'll see you in the next video.